This video has been sponsored by Solder Stick. More on that at the end. Well, guys, uh, you can pretty much uh, guess from the intro what we're doing today. It's the clapper, the Arduino version, and it's super simple. If you look here, we have three components. This is one of the sound sensors. It just needs a VCC ground, and it will output a low signal. I've got that going over to pin 3 on the Arduino. Then we have a uh, relay board. This one has four relays in it, but you only need one. But uh, anyway, here's one in it. Uh, we have the one relay going back here to Arduino pin 2. Now, this LED has nothing to do with the circuit. It's simply a, like a heartbeat kind of thing to show you that everything is powered on. It can easily be removed. And if you look here, you'll see the heartbeat light on the sound sensor. And over here is what I would call the activation light. So let me uh, come down here and take a lower stance so you guys can get a better view. And if I give you the old clapperoony. Did you see the two green dots there? Now look here. You see we have activated that. Can I get the sit up? Will you sit up there? Here we go. Off. On. One might even say, clap on, clap off the clapper. So, let's go take a look at the code. Alright, I had a lot of trouble getting my original code to work. So I had to go look for help on the internet, and I found it in the help of a Bangladeshi mechatronics engineer named Sarful. So here is a link to his work, and uh, this code is adapted from his work. So the way I tried to do this originally was to make it work somewhat like the clapper, where two claps turn it off, two claps turn it on. But um, I was trying to do that two claps within a certain time period, and... The output from that sound sensor is just too fast for that, so it wasn't registering them like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to register, we're going to look for consecutive sounds, and that's why we have a variable here called number sound. So our sound pin is uh, number three, our LED pin is number two. Those are our uh, inputs and outputs. We have raw value, we have number of claps, and we have light on. What you see here are simply a bunch of variables that make absolutely no sense right now, but you'll see how they work when we get down below. So let's just move along. So pin mode, we are going to set up our sound pin as an input. And if you come up here, remember sound pin is pin number three. Then we are going to set our LED pin as an output. This is incredibly important. If you don't set your output pins as outputs and you try to turn them on high, eh, it's nothing going to go bad. Serial so begin, we have the light clapper. Now we have an integer variable called is sound part of unique clap. The result is zero. Unsigned, unsigned long variable is elapsed time. So we say elapsed time is our sound detected time minus, minus the previous sound detected time. And then we say if that elapsed time, which is the current time minus the previous time, is greater to or equal to unique clap minimum time, then we have a result of one. So here's our logic. We're going to say, check to turn the light off. If the result is zero and elapsed time, current clap minus blah, 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 number is equal to two, result is one, number of claps is reset to zero. So if the light is on, we're going to check for two more claps. If there are two more claps, our result will be one. We will reset the number of claps to zero, and we can turn everything off. So down here in our loop, we say raw value is the digital read of the sound pin. If our raw value is equal zero, then we're going to do some uh, uh, stuff here in the serial port, but I don't have it plugged in right now, so you can't see that. And we're going to say Here's where we detect a previous sound detected time equals sound detected time. Sound detected time is equal to millis. And if it is part of unique clap, we're going to increase the number of claps. We're going to update 
the time in the millis, and then we're just going to turn the light on or off if needed. This this is the real the the genius of the program. You simply if it's high, make it low. If it's low, make it high, and it just works out wonderfully that way. So I will put this code out there on uh, Pastebin for you guys to have a look at it. And once again, I want to thank Sarple for posting his work out there. And uh, now we have the clapper. So there she blows the clapper. Doesn't have to be a clap. Any sort of a sharp sound, as you can see, we'll turn it on and turn it off. Now, even though I have this relay board here and I'm only using one of them, you could modify the code if you wanted to. Say the first two claps, you activate this one. And then three claps, turn it off. Four claps turns on this one. Five turns off. You know, you could do it however you wanted. Yeah, I mean, the possibilities are just endless. And, uh, you know, when you get working with something like this and, and you put a couple hours into this and you're thinking, you're, you're keeping your brain exercising, you know, you're keeping your thought processes going and that. That's good for everybody, man. So get yourself a, a nice hobby you can dig into like this and have some fun. It's great. You can bring the kids. You can bring the family. Uh, trust me, if you build this and your kids can turn stuff on and off just by clapping, they'll think that's hilarious because they've, they've never seen that commercial from 1984 with the old lady and all that, you know. All right, guys. I'm going to quit babbling. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And hey, don't go yet. Got to look at a video from our sponsor, Solder Stick. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation, waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits, Spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, this is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount.